my packets uh, encompass uh, wisdom from my 30 years of that singing is spiritually healing and replace your fear with faith. You must have conviction to be a true artist uh, in jazz and in music. And conviction means that you must be serious about what you're doing even if you uh, have fun also. Of course you would have fun. And I've given all of the jazz chords and scales because it's an endless uh, study that um, those of you that are serious will, will work with. Um, I've also on my a CD and my packet have given um, work on just the Dorian scale because most of us as trained singers in classical music or theater we sing major scales like crazy, don't we? And we mainly hear major scales because our teachers give us la 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 la. So I'm not so worried about everyone singing a major scale. That is the first step in understanding your swinging eighth notes uh, versus your um, straight eighth notes. Your do do ba do ba do ba do ba do. I do ba do ba do ba do ba do. It's just an it, it's it's an accent uh, really. Ba da ba da ba da ba ba da. Ba da ba da ba da ba da. Ba da ba da ba da ba da. Okay, I'm just feeling. Ba da ba da ba da ba da da da. Ba da ba da. All right. <laughs> got to be on the two and four when you're going and you, you definitely need to know where one and two and three and four is right but you feel yes I've written out your blues scale but any song that you're working to improvise on you must learn the root movement one of the easiest things you can do as a reading musician for any jazz song that you're wanting to work on is sing the melody while you're playing the root of the song don't be concerned with the most complicated chord voicings in the beginning. You won't believe your ears when you start to hear the root movement. Most singers are lyric and melody animals. That's what we do is we tell stories and we sing melodies. And many times we are completely unaware of the root movement. And it's a revelation when you sit down and just play the root of the chord in time while you're singing the melody, you, your ear will go, oh, is that what's happening? Because you'll be singing with a hip jazz pianist, and he will be playing rootless chords and everything to be like Chick Corea and Keith Jarrett and Herbie Hancock as possible. And that's not necessarily helping you as a singer to improvise. Now we're going to go bop, do Ready? One, three, five, two. 
A one, two, three, four. A bop dooey, 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 bop dooey. A one, two, three, four. So if you, any tune that you're working on, if you do that, you will be on the road to your improvisation. So then you might vary. The more I'm with you, baby, I feel my love increase. I built in all my dreams around you. Our happiness will never cease. Oh, nothing's any good without you, baby. You are my centerpiece. We'll buy a house and garden somewhere along a country road of peace. Just a little cottage on the outskirts where we can really find a night release. Nothing's any good without you, baby. You are, you are my centerpiece. So that's what I mean by improvising with lyrics, that you would start just as, say, an R&B singer might do. You would start to play with the melody the same way that you would do with your scat singing. But whatever language you're singing your lyrics in, you would not be as likely to lose your audience right away from just starting to scat sing.